At the risk of uh, asking the Rolling Stones to play satisfaction, let me ask you about the origin story of Instagram. Sure. So maybe some context. You, like we were talking about offline, grew up in Massachusetts, learned computer programming there, liked to play Doom 2, <laughs> uh, worked at a vinyl record store, then you went to Stanford, turned down Mr. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook, went to Florence to study photography. Those are just some random, beautiful, impossibly brief glimpses into a life. So let me ask again, can you take me through the origin story of Instagram, <laughs> given yeah, that context? I mean, you basically set it up. Um, <laughs> all right, so uh, we have a fair amount of time, so I'll go into some detail, but basically what I'll say is, um, Instagram started out of a company actually called Bourbon, and it was spelled B-U-R-B-N. Mm -hmm. And uh, a couple things were happening at the time. So if we zoom back to 2010, not a lot of people remember what was happening in the dot-com world then, uh, but check-in apps were all the rage. Mm -hmm. So what's was, a check-in app? Uh, Gowalla, Foursquare, Hot Potato. So I'm at a place, I'm gonna tell the world that I'm at this place. That's right. What's what's the idea behind this kind of app, by the way? You know what? I'm going to answer that, but mm -hmm. through what Instagram became and why I believe Instagram replaced them. Mm -hmm. So the whole idea was to share with the world what you were doing, specifically with your friends, right? Mm -hmm. um, but there were all the rage, and Foursquare was getting all the press. And I remember sitting around saying, hey, I want to build something, but I don't know what I want to build. What if I built a better version of Foursquare? And I asked myself, well, why don't I like Foursquare or how could it be improved? Right. Um, and basically I sat down and I said, I think that if you have a few extra features, it might be enough. One of which happened to be posting a photo of where you were. Mm -hmm. There were some others. It turns out that wasn't enough. My co-founder joined, we were going to attack, uh, you know, Foursquare and the likes and, and try to build something interesting. Um, and no one used it. No one cared because it wasn't enough. It wasn't, it wasn't different enough. Right. So one day we were sitting down and we asked ourselves, okay, let's come to Jesus moment. Are we going to do this startup? And if we're going to, we can't do what we're currently doing. We have to switch it up. So what do people love the most? So we sat down and we wrote out three things that we thought people uniquely loved about our product that weren't in other products. Photos happened to be the top one. So sharing a photo of what you were doing, where you were at the moment was not something products let you do really facebook was like post an album of your vacation from two weeks ago mm -hmm. right twitter allowed you to post a photo but their feed was primarily text and they didn't show the photo in line or at least i don't think they did at the time so even though it seems totally stupid and obvious to us now at the moment then posting a photo of what you were doing at the moment was like not a thing mm -hmm. so we decided to go after that because we noticed that people who used our service, the one thing they happened to like the most was posting a photo. So that was the beginning of Instagram. And yes, like we went through and we added filters and there's a bunch of stories around that. But the origin of this was that we were trying to be a check-in app, realized that no one wanted another check-in app. It became a photo sharing app, but one that was much more about what you're doing and where you are. And that's why when I say, I think we've replaced check-in apps, it became a check-in via a photo rather than saying your location and then optionally adding a photo. Mm 